Hey guys, Super Gadget Guy here. Today I'll be unboxing a backpack I ordered from to me. Um, I hope I say it right. Um, I know it's not a high tech gadget, but it's just as important because this is the accessory or bag you will be carrying around your high tech gadget with. So this is a backpack since I'm going back to school. Um, I figure it's pretty important for you to carry a backpack. So this is the um, Alpha Bravo Knox backpack. This is the model, Alpha Bravo Knox. And then the color is anthracite, or however you say it. It's ballistic nylon version. There's also a full leather version. Um, I ordered it directly from Toomey um, because prices are very much similar. It doesn't matter where you order from. So, so it's hard to unbox here. So inside, there's just the package slip and just a bag. So, pretty simple. Um, what's cool about this backpack is, first let me show you the old ones I have. I have the Targus, um, it's a red color, let me see if I can move it back. So this is a Targus backpack, it's for computer, um, it's pretty well padded and it has a computer compartment. And it has a front, sort of a filing and stuff, and it has a accessory zipper. Um, once, so the computer is very, the backpack is very well padded, and the computer fits in perfectly, and I know it's well protected. Um, the problem with this one is that so much padding adds in so much weight of the backpack. It's actually weight on its own. It actually weights a lot. But once you add in all the gears you need it for all your computer and accessories and stuff, the weight can be significant. Um, so even carrying the Retina MacBook Pro, Pro, it still can add a lot of stress on your shoulder. Uh, so, that's the old, and here's a new one. Um, this one backpack is way, very, very slim. And the, this coloring, instead of the black or the green, it's sort of darkish gray color. And by order from Toomey, you can have the monogram initial on the back yourself. So it's like personalized, free. Um, so I have mine. And since this is like a travel slash business gear, you get pretty cool, you know, the address notification. And let's go down to the feature list. So everything is all pretty well protected. I guess they want to arrive. Um, ballistic nylon and has a sort of strap handle. Feels like leather. Smells like leather. I'm not gonna chew it to figure it's leather or not. So um, you have the main compartment. It's a lot of padding, packaged material, and so you have a main compartment for the laptop. And you have a little, let me see how I show this. So you have a main compartment here. It's the very nice, soft, cool looking material, like space age material or something. Like something NASA would use. It's really cool inside as well as outside. Um, and you have a little zipper opening up for, I don't know, small filing stuff. And then this is pretty much the main compartment. On the opposite end, there's also a little pocket right here. So that's the main zipping compartment. And then you have a little tag for your personal information. And then you have a front pocket that uh, for every Toomey bag, or at least this one, I don't know if it's every one of them, you actually have an identifier tag that's inside. That's metal that has a to me if you call this number um, and then there's a ID tag to identify you as the owner so if someone found this um, to me will try to return it to you if somebody calls them it's not like there's any actively GPS tracking 
like the website made it sound like it's very passive but and consumer service manual that and then inside this pocket you have one two main pocket besides the big zip down for stuff so a lot of pockets and ooh. okay feels weird the zippers are very heavy duty big zippers very solid and another pocket here for like little stuff wallet keys whatever and have a front pocket And I'm just repeating myself, there's just a lot of pockets in here and with very well built constructed zipper. And this pocket right here is um, waterproof. So we have cell phone and other stuff you want to protect from water, you can put it in here. Cell phone, MP3 player, or you have a water bottle that I like to drink, drink cold drinks. Um, I would just leave this open and slide like a bottle right here and so that the, um, the sweat on the bottle will not get to other part of the back because this is uh, waterproof uh, lining right here. And then you have the opposite side, you have uh, just a normal padded inside. So, so these are all the pockets, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, including the main computer compartment. So you're definitely not short of pocket. And after all the packaging material removed, it's very light bag. Um, what's with this tags? Let me remove all the tags. So let's get to the front. So this is the back. Show you the air vent, so you can. The back can remain cool while carrying it. And then the shoulder straps has these little very heavy duty nylon loops. And with two in loops right here for you to attach stuff to, I guess. And adjust the shoulder strap to show you how well it will fit. To demonstrate. So this is my uh, MacBook Pro, the Retina display one. And uh, to those of you who've seen my previous video, you know I have an Iron Man sticker. Now it's a zombie princess Mitchiger eating an apple sticker. Because um, I don't want to take off the Iron Man. So this part goes into, as you can see, it um, definitely fits a 15 inch laptop. Let me zip it up. With lots of room to spare. So, think of it. I want to see how, how what's the weight. It's definitely lighter than the MacBook Pro. That's why when the MacBook Pro goes in, and this material feels really soft. So, if you have a 15 inch laptop, it will fit perfectly. Um, so I'm just gonna transfer all my stuff here and start using this from now on. And um, yeah. Very stylish, very functional, and very light backpack. So if you are a business traveler, where you carry your laptop everywhere you go, and you want a backpack that's light, and at the same time it protects your laptop, um, check them out. This is the Tumi Alpha Bravo Knox backpack. And all right, uh, feel free to post any questions in the comment section. I will do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.